2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS Hot Lap, how quick is it? We've praised the 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS as one of the most fun track-focused driver's cars on the market. It's by far the ultimate Cayman incarnation to date, featuring the 911 GT3's 4.0-liter engine and one of the loudest in-car engine soundtracks ever heard in a street-legal production model. You can thank the intake tubes running just behind your head and the lack of an insulated engine cover for the racecar-like oral thrills and you can thank Porsche's GT division for delivering a racecar-like driving experience. Mechanically speaking, the 718 Cayman GT4 RS engine makes 493 horsepower, sent to the rear wheels via Porsche's superb 7-speed PDK twin-clutch automatic transmission. The naturally aspirated flat six spins to the same 9,000 RPM limit as it does in the GT3, and it makes the same 331 lb-ft of torque. According to Porsche, the slight horsepower deficit is due to differences in the Cayman's exhaust and cooling systems due to its different mid-engine platform compared to the rear-engine 911. Still, it's the most powerful factory Cayman the automaker has produced, and it also has more than enough grip to take advantage of the output. Compared to the standard 718 Cayman GT4, the GT4 RS has bigger brakes, 49 fewer pounds, wider front and rear tracks, and more rear camber. Its more aggressive aero elements contribute up to 220 pounds of downforce at 124 miles per hour. There's an optional carbon fiber heavy WISAC pack, $13,250, along with magnesium wheels, $15,640 and saving a further 22 pounds, plus sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup Tour tires. The WISAC pack alone consists essentially of cosmetic upgrades, but Porsche won't let you buy the lighter wheels without it. A mechanically locking rear differential and standard torque vectoring help the car to turn as soon as you breathe on the steering wheel and trust us when we say, it turns. Indeed, after spending time ourselves driving and testing the 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS and loving every minute of it, well, except for the few staffers who say their ears are still bleeding, we wanted to find out how good it is on the absolute limit of its capabilities in the hands of a professional driver around a fast road course. Multiple championship winning sports car racer Andy Pilgrim was happy to oblige, and the 3.2-mile, 23-turn NCM Motorsports Park racetrack in Bowling Green, Kentucky, provided the challenge. How good is this car? Watch the video to find out. 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 Review, Prince of Precision Nobody has ever accused Porsche of making a bad driver's car. But sometimes, the company goes out of its way to show the world just how good it is, as it is done with the latest 718 Cayman GT4. When the Cayman first arrived on the scene, it was berated for being just a hardtop boxster. In the years since, it's been lauded as one of the purest driving machines around, and the GT4 was the ultimate expression of a chassis balanced perfectly by the engine it deserved. Now, however, there's a new model that's even pricier than the old one. So, is it worth the $100,000 asking price, or is the 911 a better deal? A 4.0-liter flat six that produces 414 horsepower and 309 lb-ft of torque is certainly worth talking about, especially when the GT4 plays in an exclusive sports car category that's also home to the BMW M2 CS. As a fully-fledged Porsche GT-developed car, the Cayman GT4 is no longer considered a wannabe performance machine, but is instead a bona fide icon. Has it supplanted the 911 as the consummate sports car? It might just have done so. 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 changes, what's the difference versus 2021 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4? The GT4 was launched as a manual-only 2020 model and the 2021 model received a PDK dual-clutch automatic option. For the 2022 model year, two new colors join the palette, namely Frozen Berry and Shark Blue. From this year, you can also customize the key fob by having it color-coded to your vehicle's paintwork. Additional leather accessories have also become available, such as leather key pouches and floor mats. Handling and Driving Impressions As mentioned above, the 718 Cayman GT4 is more than capable of handling the power bestowed upon it. 
It's agile, light, and full of feel. The steering is accurate and the wheel itself is just the right size, but it also weights up appropriately as the corners tighten. There's more resistance in this steering setup than in most modern ones, which simply engages you more and makes it easier to pick the exact line that will yield the quickest times around a track. In addition, the GT4 features Porsche Active Suspension Management, a system of two-stage adaptive dampers that can stiffen or relax the ride as required. In its stiffer setting, it's almost completely free of body roll and lean, while the more comfortable setting is more than good enough for daily use. However, the optional carbon bucket seats can transmit a lot more road harshness than the standard ones. Still, it's never bad enough for you to want to turn around and go to work in a different car. When it comes time to stop, the brakes do an excellent job and are easy to modulate. Even the optional carbon ceramic setup is very livable. Verdict, is the 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 a good car? The base 718 Cayman is a wonderful machine to drive and the GT4 is quite simply the distilled essence of that same fantastic driving pleasure. Sure, it's short on factory features and the options list doesn't include even half the amenities available in some other Porsche models, but that's what a distilled version of something is supposed to be like. Porsche's core DNA is all about driving brilliance and that's what we have here. The steering is magnificent, the engine sounds fantastic, and the chassis is simply terrific. It's not so fast that you fear pushing its limits, and even if you do, the car has already become a part of you, and you can feel everything happening through the seat of your pants and the tips of your fingers. It's also nowhere near being slow enough that you'll ever get bored unless you're absolutely hammering it on a track with an excessively long straight. Yes, there are other cars in this price range that offer more comfort, power and acceleration, and features all in one package, but what none of them can take away from the GT4 is that it reigns supreme when it comes to handling and unadulterated fun. 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 Comparisons 2022 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 vs Porsche 911 Carrera The 718 Cayman GT4 is, without a doubt, the younger cousin of the 911. But, because the 911 is rear-engined, it has space for a pair of rear seats, cramped though they may be. More important than seating is price. The 2022 Carrera retails for $101,200, exactly the same as the base Cayman GT4. However, the base 911 is less powerful, with its 3.0-liter twin-turbo flat-six producing just 379 horsepower, Although the torque figure is higher at 331 lbft, this model doesn't have access to a manual transmission, instead sticking with its new 8-speed PDK. Still, the gearbox is excellent, and the interior is far more comfortable and spacious. Don't forget that this is a 911, so handling and acceleration are still mesmerizingly good. That said, the GT4 is the one that you'll enjoy more on the track, while the 911 is the one you'd want every day and when going on vacation. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.